Well, John, violence by street gangs has inspired a new movie, and the movie called The Warriors may be inspiring even more violence. The movie is now playing in New York, and Sandy Pearl found a protest by an unusual kind of gang. They call themselves the Magnificent 13. They're a volunteer group, usually found patrolling the Muggers Express, number four on the IRT line. But today, they are out in front of the Lowe's State One Theater, protesting the showing of the Warriors. They say it's a dangerous picture. We've seen what it's done to people, and we read in the papers about the violence that's been inspired by this kind of movie. And we just don't think uh, this children should be allowed to see this movie, let alone adults. We just got over the gang thing about five years ago. There was another upcropping of gangs, and we don't want to see that happen again. The movie is rated R. And with an R rating, that means that if you are not 17 or older, you must be accompanied by a parent or legal guardian. This rule is not being stipulated in any of the theaters that we've seen. Pedro, how old are you? I'm 14. Did you buy your ticket? Yeah. Did they ask you how old you were? No. They didn't ask me at all. You know, you just get the ticket, that's it. You go in. Are you aware of younger kids, younger than 17, coming into the theater without a parent? When they're caught, they're thrown out. That's but all. But that has been happening? No, not necessarily. Paramount Pictures has asked the 670 theaters showing the Warriors to put on extra security. The manager of the theater refused to talk before our cameras, but he did tell me that since the opening of the film last week, an additional 15 to 20 men have been put on to tighten up security. The latest outbreak of violence associated with the film occurred early yesterday at the IND subway station at 42nd and 8th. Police say 12 young men went on a rampage, jumping turnstiles, terrorizing and knocking down passengers after seeing the film. Paramount Pictures says the incidents of violence associated with the film are really isolated cases. Theaters in the Bronx and Queens showing the film said they've had a number of problems. And in California, two theaters have stopped showing the film after an 18-year-old was stabbed to death and a 19-year-old was shot and critically wounded. Sandy Pearl, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.